Hello, I am live. I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and caress this book that's almost finished. If I do as many as I did Tuesday, this book will be finished. Look at those beautiful flat pages. I'm just tickled. Tickled to death. Now I have to find... I've got another one of these books somewhere over the rainbow, but it's bigger, so I'm not sure I want to use that. And my journal for um, Wanderlust isn't here yet. It's the Fabriano Artist, uh, A. Artemisia? Yeah. Um, anyway, it's a $20 book on Amazon, and I found it on Closeout Cheap Joe's for $9.99. So, of course, that facilitated a Cheap Joe's order. And there were some things I needed, wanted, needed. You know how that goes. Um, so, I did the free shipping, and it takes, it comes by mule train. So hopefully it will leave their office soon because I would like to get into that. I really don't want to be behind here at the first of the year. I've done some work in, uh, <laughs> let's face it, and I've done quite a bit of work on my class that's not associated with any kind of an annual thing. Um, um, I've done quite a bit in that class and I'm glad I did it. I'm learning some things. I don't care how good you think you are or how many awards you've won or how many commissions you've done. If you see someone else's work that you really admire, Take their class and be a student. It's so much more fun to be a student. Um, and I say be a student to say, don't try to show off with what you already know. Try to listen as a beginner and um, learn what you can from it. And then with time, those things that you learn will just mesh into what you already know. And it just adds more tools in your toolbox. For example, a scribble face instead of one that you could reach out and touch. Um, there's a vast difference in those two things. And I think everybody knows that I lean toward the realistic. And so I'm um, working on being more arty. That is more technique and practice, I think. Another page I did the other day. Remember, um, I've told you several times. Ooh, somebody buzzed me. Hang on. Um, Randy, the Renster. Um, Anyway, that I just kind of discovered by accident that these are what happened when you let an inkjet print get wet. So now I'm doing them on purpose. If I have one, I'm going to throw away. I bring it in here and wet it pretty good. And you get some real interesting ink patterns on them. And nobody's here yet, so be very quiet. I'm going to try to be very quiet. I've got my avocado paper that I've been meaning to use. Russell, Russell, sorry, sorry. Today would be a good day for this, or at least on something. It's not going to get used over there in the oil painting department. I see somebody. Hi, Joycey. 
How you doing over there in Seattle? Have you gotten cold weather yet? Or not Seattle, but Washington. I'll put this up for a minute. Get everything set. I'm going to watch on YouTube today on my iPad and see if see if I can stay up with stiff. Live chat. Okay. Still in the 50s today. Here, 54. We're supposed to have a big front fly through here tonight, which will cause um, thunderstorms and tornado warnings and stuff like that. I'm just so tickled with the pages I did the other day. I think they're minimalist. Now, if you wanted to, you could come back in and, and doodle with a micron pen, but that's not the point of intuitive journaling. It could be if you wanted to do it. So anyway, we're supposed to have rainy, cold, snowy, icy after this front goes through. I particularly like that. It's so soft. And this was a cleanup print from the I'm hearing it somewhere that's got earphones that shouldn't be causing any sound because it's not on hmm. uh, let me just grab one chalk paste that I had to have. So anyway, I had run it through a stencil and that's the remnants that were on the stencil. That's that pinky color, I think. Hubbard squash. The greenish one. Oh, well, here's the pinkish one. The mauvey pinkish one is called Dusty Plum. We're just chit chatting here until some folks get in. I don't hear an echo anymore. Hello, hello. I thought I just did. I am. Okay. That's what it was. It was coming through the microphone. I threw my earbuds. I've been I've been studying. So anyway, this is another page I made the other day, yesterday, Tuesday. I thought I heard me again. No. In and out down again. I'm going to go right now and see if I can get rid of it. That focus deal. May have to turn my fan on. Okay, we advanced. Hello, focus off. Right, there it is, off. Anyway, I've got my fleece lined Walmart leggings on, getting ready for the warm weather I and mean, cool weather. <laughs> Do you hear me now? Should just be coming through one. That's all there is. Okay. Okay. And the other day when I was wrestling, is that wrestling really loud? Oh, 
Uh-oh. Okay, it threw me off. Okay. Sometimes it does that. Okay, yeah, do you hear rustling really, really loud? I'm not sure what said. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's already there. That's almost instant. Okay, let's check. No, it's not instant. All right, here. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Okay, the wrestling. Do you hear the wrestling really, really loud? I'll wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Tag you it. Isn't that weird? Because the only microphone is here. It's picking up somewhere from my computer. All right, we'll move the microphone in that way. I've got a future craft lunch behind me. Okay, yeah, Tuesday it was. Um, well, Tuesday I had it sitting in the same spot. Because it was last Thursday that Rosemary said it was so obnoxious. What you fixing for lunch? I'll be over. Did I tell you that we got so mad with AT and T the week before, two weeks before Christmas, that we switched to Sprint, cut our bill in half, and we got two free iPhone 11s, two iPads, and service on the two iPads when you're out away from your Wi-Fi, and probably cut our bill. We probably cut 30, 40% off of it. My phone was six years old, I think. So anyway, that was a good switch. The service has been great. Okay, I think that I'm going to start. We'll have some folks. Yeah, that's weird. Right, right by your ears. Okay, what are we going to do? I pulled some eyeshadows. And let's see if this plate has a clean spot. Yeah. I'm going to turn this over. I try to keep one side clear from acrylic paint. So now I need a stencil. Hey, Gail. Well, that's interesting, Joycey. I wonder if that's on the viewer side. I mean, you know, I'm just guessing. I got these eyeshadows, remember? 430 some odd colors, and they're the ones that, these are the ones I got at the um, dollar store. Now, this technique, if you've forgotten or whatever, is rubbing a powdered pigment through a stencil that works great with pan pastels on the darker brighter colors don't even waste your time on whites or light flesh tones and that sort of thing so while we wait for some more folks i'm just going to put this on my cheap joe's order i had to order some more of the tips i know i've got some um and I did not find my prescription uh, astigmatism glasses yet. I found the case. I hope they didn't fall in my trash. 
I'm just taking my time. And I think I'm going to put some teal in there. Street tacos. Well, what makes them a street taco if you make them at home? Rosemary and I did this one day until we were blue in the face. We really had fun. Now remember, these are our shadows, so they're possibly not as strong as the pans. If I need the pans, I'll get them. Go get them. Ooh, that sounds good in a softer hard shell or like a burrito. Now the reason I'm doing this with eyeshadow is not to save money because they're expensive. It's to have something I can carry back and forth, like going to Rosemary's, without carrying 10 pounds of pan pastels. But she's got, she's got pretty much, I think she's got all the colors. Now, one of her, one of her viewers made her a deal she couldn't refuse so you know a lot of times we try a new product and we bring to the table the things that we know from other projects we've done and other materials we have and when we do that we kind of shut our mind down to something different and decide right off the bat that you don't like it so you get rid of it I've seen people do that with sprays. I don't like them, so I'm just going to get rid of them. I think I got everything. And then they find out down the road that... I'm trying to remember the process. Pull that off. And... And then they wish they had them back. Fan pastels are like that for some folks. They don't know what to do with them. Because they don't fit. Okay. See how that looks? Now that was a clean plate. If you can believe that I had a clean plate. I know that's hard to believe. But it's the stickiness of a clean plate that you want. And the day we did it, we were getting three or four really good pulls. Um, wipe that off on another pad. Now, y'all know that I don't um, use paper to do my roll-offs. I roll them off on jelly plates. All right, so here we go. That feeling sounds wonderful. I sure do enjoy having a chef in my own house. That's a that's what I call him. He's, he he doesn't make a living at it. Yesterday he made homemade egg foo young that was oh so good. Now, see, 
Isn't that pretty? It's more subtle than um, doing it with paint straight through the stencil. Which I think is just way cool. So let's do it again. There's still, you can still see pastel on the stencil. I mean, on the. My little brayer needs to be cleaned. It's sticking to itself. <laughs> Now this one will be faint, so I'm going to put it up here as though we meant for it to be different. What does the nutritional yeast do? Can we see? We got some, not just a whole lot, but. Oh, okay. I think the raisins would add just a hint of sweetness that that is a now yeah, we got some. Ta-da, I chattel. Now then. Get this up out of the way. These are greens. And bubbles. Okay. It's pretty nice with that. dabbler yeah sometimes a touch of sweetness and Randy threatens to and I think he has put on occasion sardines and stuff because it adds to the flavor without being you know in your face I'm just going to dig in, not overthinking it. It's a very subtle print. I think I want to get that circle, so... Get out my fancy schmancy Carter. I just realized last week that that's where you put the tip so you don't stab yourself and that pulls back and this comes out yes no All right. Okay. 
How did I, how do I move it? I've moved it a lot. It is stuck solid. Shannon. Maybe I better put the lid on the poker. Oh, there it goes. I guess it was just stuck up there. Okay. I love this color. So you put the outside of the, the wheel where you want it, and then in the middle, I'm going to go a little bit bigger than that. Fine, make sure I'm in the middle. It's pretty close. Here we go. Press down and turn. Almost. I was afraid to go around it again because I was afraid it would be off just a little. Okay, so put this back up. Hide the rotary, put it back in the drawer. Put this up. This is why I like having everything living it, it hands, hand away. I mean, you know, just right there by me. I'm liking. Um, it's a well, ones that makes all the cutters. Alpha, and I think it's just about the coolest thing, the coolest one ever. Because you can make, I you can't go much lower than an inch. I think it might be the smallest. Hey, River City, how are you doing? I'm going to... I'm just going to grab for this blue. This is the stays on midi. See how the... Um, how it bled into the edges of the raw paper? I currently like that better than just you know, damaging the edges. So you just hold it and the raw paper will kind of wick the ink. And it is very subtle. Yeah, it's a whole lot less expensive than those, um, what's the club? That people use stamping up, maybe. That required a box and 49 pieces, which boxes have to go up on a shelf, and then you end up not using them. And it was expensive. I looked all over the place for a set. Now, this is just circles, so, you know, you got to know that. Um, I learned about it from Shannon Green.
it may be in my store if you go to buy it on Amazon. It's bit.ly forward slash capital Vicky capital Ross. I'll make a few pennies off of it. Same price as you would pay for it anywhere else. And in fact, if you shop on Amazon a lot, you can get whatever you want through that link. Every once in a while they say, you need to show more sales or we'll cut your store off. Well, I use it as much as anything for myself. It's an easy place to go back and see what I've purchased and when. Just enough different from that. And I think that'll do it. Now that puts this right in the middle, which I'm not crazy about. So I think I might move it. I can cut. I think that'll work. I'm just going to do it. Hi, lurkers. If y'all weren't here, I did jelly plate stencil with pan pastel, but I used eyeshadow technique and then put white paint on top of it and plopped it down. Always helps if you're on the right side or the pick the side you want. line somewhere that okay. always smooth from the center out kind of helps get rid of any bubbles but with the uhu glue you really don't have too many to worry about See, look at that, how it wicks. I think that's just cool. Kind of like dandelions, remember? I think I was in first, maybe second grade, first time I saw that. Saw it soak up ink. That was back when it, oh yeah, hello. The cartridge bottle, uh, Schaefer's bottle was still on everybody's, on the teacher's desk anyway, I'm not sure it was. For us, we were still using chubby pencils then. Okay, so think about like that. Now it's intuitive, but I didn't want it right in the center. And I also didn't want it to be boring by covering up the whole circle. And this brought it down. You know, it's just, that's why it's intuitive. What feels right. Yeah, look at that sweet little page. This is on yellow onion skin or tracing paper or whatever, you know, the typing paper. I love that blue dot. I'm glad I left that on there. All right, now what are we going to do over here? See, here's the second print. Ordinarily, we got more prints, but that could have been the pan pastel as well. This is eyeshadow.
I'm tempted to leave that. This edge hasn't been torn. And I told you this the other day. Torn edges are more organic and they also allow the glue to anchor the paper down a little more smoothly. You don't have as strong an edge to deal with. I think both of these are torn. Nope, that's fine because I was kind of curious if I cut it off and leave a point on both sides, that might be kind of interesting. And these pieces that I'm tearing off the sides are big enough for your own Washington. Perfect. So you put it on the back side, right side down, and then you use your double stick tape and line it up as best you can. That. Well, guess what? That's stuck. stuff is so strong and here's a little piece that I was going to throw away so I think I'll just put it down maybe I can line it up better And again, it's amazing. I have to trim, trim the sticky part off or you'll be sorry. Because it sticks to everything. I love these Tim Holtz scissors. You can pick them up either way, it doesn't matter which direction you put your thumb in. And non stick. One way I think is maybe that's the little ones. I think one one edge might be, yeah, it's What do they call it? Like pink and sheer, but it's maybe for tearing. Perforating. That's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, one more. So I'm still debating. Because what could happen 
Excuse me. Is I could use my stamp. And I don't know exactly where that is. So I could do it on my. I could do a oval circle here that matches kind of this one. And put it right in here. I think that might be kind of cute. Crowds be quiet today. Don't let me put you to sleep like I'm putting me to sleep. Okay, so that'll go there. Now, don't get too cute. Okay, so if I do that, I think maybe some intuitive writing would finish that off. That's what I think. And that is this one. This does not have to be a clean one. My handy dandy little jar. I had bought this with walnut ink in it. It's got a cork, and when I went to use it one day, it was completely dried out. Alrighty. So I put a piece of foam tape around the stopper. Did I say hi to you, River? Oh, I did. Okay, now we were going to cut that. I'll we'll back it off a little bit. And that means I can come in here with what's left and just make it match my corner. I mean, match my shape. It's interesting. It's turning this paper pink. Look at that. Blue. glue stick that's blue on yellow paper and it turns pink. Weird. Okay, so we're just going to pop this puppy about right there. Not just hair. Okay, now we gotta we gotta kind of pretend to get it straight.
And since that seems to be bothering me, I can just tear it off. There. I'm using my fingernail to take that piece off. Um, da, 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 da. This is a surprise. Ah, don't drip right there. That, my friends, is the beginnings of a brush. Y'all know that Hubs is a duck. Duck counter. There's my little feather. You can make marks with a stick from the yard. Hi, uh, does Rosemary come in? I don't see her. I sent her a text to join us if she wanted to. There. Circle, circle. Similar colors, not exact. I like. Da, 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 da. I'm cleaning my brush up. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I've got some oil brushes soaking in the kitchen. I don't know if y'all remember back when I was working on, I had started Three's Portrait. And I was working several days there and then for some reason I got up and left it and never went back. I had two brushes that were harder than brick bats. The palette's still over there, but that's glass. It can be scraped. I guess I just moved on to pastels and started doing those little smalls. Don't know. Okay, holler at me if she comes in because I've got to look over at the laptop. <clears throat> okay, now I said something about let me put the lid on this. You know, that new phone probably needs to be moved. Thinking ahead. There. Now I said I wanted to use some of my aguacate paper. I 
I had a real good result. Can y'all see the pinky? You know, in fact, that piece right there and here where a stencil was dirty or had color on it, which it gives you remarkable fun surprises. So I'm going to run this right across the gutter. You know, like Rosemary said, you mean Randy's avocado paper? Because I'll start these projects and he finishes them. <laughs> he was the one that had the idea of putting it in the microwave to help the help it. Oh, oh, oh. What do you call it when it runs out? It uses water, goes in the air. Anyway, it made it a concentrate. And that was when we got the pink. Okay, cut that lighter. Yeah, holler. That's what we say here in Arkansas. Now, before that can get dry, I'm going to start putting it down. And this obviously was used tissue paper. Because it's wrinkled. So if you get some wrinkles in the application, don't worry about it. I also didn't get that straight across the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about that either. A little bit of glue right there. No biggie. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't done anything like this, it is so much fun. The intuitive part. Intuitive journaling is my name. Um... Robin McClendon is who it's fashioned after what I learned with her. So glad to have my uhu back. It's just a way to use up all your jelly plate papers and the more you use up the more you can make some more hmm. it's a good thing it dries clear huh And you remembered now that this is just a Goodwill book. 
It's just a writing journal. But by the time you put the um, acrylic paint and the papers on it, the paper that's under it really doesn't matter. Now, be real careful when you do this because you're dealing with tissue paper here. And I don't care if it's got wrinkles in it. What I care about is that it's as close as it can be attached to the paper or touching the book paper. And then once I do that, I just run this right down the... Kind of helps with bulk. It's easier to, for me to get it in the book when they're attached. Cool. Yeah, evaporate. Thank you, Gail. And I've got my little ceramic cup, about like that, pottery. And it fits perfect under the board that I'm working on right here. And I've got it scotched in. That's another fancy word. I raised this board just a little bit and slid that in and put a piece of plastic packaging on top of it. And I've left about a half inch open. So it's out of the way, and the half inch open means I can use it without taking the plastic off. And it's not going to be easily knocked over. I think the other experience that comes from this type of journaling is it gives you practice with different colors and what goes together and what doesn't. And you've seen me put some things together that just really don't look like they should be. Obviously, one dry. Like these are from three different pieces of paper, but there's one color that's kind of consistent. And it's probably one of the color shifts. And here, these three pieces, four, are not from the same batch, but they have similarities. That's nice. Now, what, what we're going to do? I know what I want to do. Same batch of paper. Look how pretty that is. Same batch of paper. And this is just copy paper. Nothing exotic.
I don't know why, but I'm putting it there. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, same, same. I like that angle going that way, so we'll go to the back of it. Well, I had it originally. Rosemary does so many papers, echo dyes and stuff. She has, she just sells them. I don't want to get into that, but it works for her. I glued that, so I'm just going to bring it on across. Thanks, Joycey. I know you said that on the other page, but. And look at the two different papers took the color differently. I think that's just kind of cool. Then we'll put some writing here. Let's see if we've got any. Uh, yeah. Ah, shoot. I'm in love with Alphonse. <laughs> My braid is gone. Mucha. Back in the day when I was doing needlework, I did four of these girls. And they were about this tall by this wide counting cross stitch. And I loved them. Okay, let's just put one on there. Well, that's kind of cool because it's cut crooked. And you're putting it on crooked. It makes us even. I bought the um, girls on AliExpress. Never had a problem with AliExpress at all. They are scrupulous about customer service. Seeing if I've got anything. I'm looking for something back behind me on my uh, hanger thing I've shown you before.
Told you I was building a crafty lunch. Just looking through some scraps. something right there that might work. If you had to buy all these papers, you'd go broke. Maybe. All right. Don't overthink it. Well, look at the other one since you got it. If that's just crooked, it can be. I'm going with this little piece right here. Just about the right size, too. I love that. Uh, we're not doing Nicolazzo, and that's what's underneath this, and I don't want to lose it. Little puppy dog got a hold of this one. I'm not sure I like this mauvey color, but we're gonna we're gonna see because it's on a peach color. And she chewed it up just about too bad to use. Sweet little love chunk. Excuse me. I'm trying to get a. I'm using that because that piece right there fits right in the middle and it's got a crooked edge. So down she goes. Raggedy ends and all. I'm going to take this one off. See, contrast is good sometimes. And the other thing that I want to point out to you is that the value is the same. The same darkness. And that's some of the stuff that I cover pretty heavily in my course. Cover the why of things.
I used to always dress in values. Like in spring, I'm same medium tone of green, pink, peach, blue, and wear something like that from a distance. It always looked like I was wearing something that just perfectly matched. And then when you get up close, it wasn't. I'm just going to leave the rest of this if I decide to come back. I can add some scripting. Da, 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 da. That's all I have left. Okay, I pulled some greens. All you lurkers, hello, hello. Might as well use this since I have it out. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Quick decision, management decision here. Look, this was the back of a, and that's worth keeping, back of an inkjet print. Okay, so now all we have to do is decide where we want that. I don't have to keep that. <coughs> Dang. Okay, I'm going with it. 
went all the way to the top and I didn't need to. So again, nobody's going to take it away from me. That's one of my problems is, or one of my challenges, let's say. I tend to go as fast as I can go, probably so I can be teacher's pet. I don't know. Part of Rowan. I guess we're going to have a, a six. <coughs> it's been Rosie's almost two, so. Reaching for a stencil. I'd like to have one I didn't use already. What did I do over here? Feathers, feathers, feathers. We'll just do that. And here's my big set of eyeshadows. Wait back out. Doesn't really matter. There's so many, so many to pick from. Let's use this one. The other thing is that my workspace, tabletop workspace, is limited. And this is a whole lot easier to work with over here in the mixed media world than those big pan pastel trays. And I have dropped those before, which is not the best of ideas. It turned out okay. Any kind of an applicator will work on this process. In fact, I'm not too sure that it would be. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Just keep, keep on.
And these eyeshadows aren't going to last forever, but that's okay too. I still think they're fun. For about $20. See, that is all stuck. <clears throat> so now we need the white paint. These things are hard to flip over. I just do the whole thing. Now. For stuff I don't use all the time, <clears throat> a couple steps away works. gold, those chrome, you know what, that'll work, that was too much. Now I got some left, so in the world it must be part of the leftover. Okay. I'm not talking very much today. We sure needed rosemary. Wet white.
paste same color so nice to have the supplies and when we buy them we think what am i ever going to use that for but then one day you decide that you need it Use my finger. I've been better about storing some of these things upside down, too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Wipe this off with a baby wipe. It'll be good enough. Always get both sides because you may have some bleed through. See, that works. Oh, that's just quite nice. Cut this off. More washi I got. I don't remember if this was Amazon or on or Ollie. I got a lot of them from AliExpress. I remembered to put the Asian writing <laughs> vertical instead of horizontal too. <laughs> See, if y'all are like me, you forget what you've got. I didn't mean to do that, but since I did. And it's all put away on shelves and you can't see it. And <clears throat> you never use it.
Bye, Gabber. Glad you came. This is that stuff that smells so good. All right, I see one more thing that I want to do. I want to put one of these washi. Put that one up there for later because I want this bigger one. Tear that off. And we've done three spreads. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. What time is it? About 20. I'm glad to thank everybody that showed up today. And I know y'all have got other things to see and do. I'm going to have to cut that off. So if you need to go or have other obligations, thanks for coming. Ooh, I am proud of that. Okay, so this... That's the back of the book. So if I do one more spread, that'll leave that page oh, left over. Let's see what I've got over here. This stuff that I pulled. I'm trying to keep from rattling your brains. That could use some toning down. There's some nice dark areas over there. This was one of my very first jelly prints. Back when I thought you had to do it on a heavier weight paper. I don't really want to use the same color. That way. And that's the same color as we had. That is sure a pretty piece of paper. Okay, so we've got some mauve things. There's that yellow. Let me see. We can do something here. This was some um, more. Um, Pan pastels on the jelly plate from Rosemary's Day. Get rid of some some edges. Okay, now they've all been torn.
this is on our uh, thin. Masking, painting, masking paper. I punched some holes out of this for pearls on a project I did in eh, Carabolix, like book. So next week, if I decide to take the challenge, we'll have a new book. It's the only journaling I've ever finished. That says something right there. Let that dry a little bit. Let's see if any of that washi tape I made does anything. No. No. Nope, nope. Is that all I did? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put it down at the bottom for some reason, and I do not know why. Welcome to the quietest stream. I better make sure this stuff was dry. <laughs> oh, it was. Okay. I pulled a stencil that had some borders on it. But before I do that, I want to put a little bit of paint down.
I think the best buy of the year was uh, finding out about color shift. It's not exactly the right color. This was the color I should have. Come on. Whoa, Nelly. I don't need that much. That's the same color in this piece. We don't want to do that again. All right, key. Now then, let's try it. I'm going to use this pinky, fleshy, light, fleshy tone on this. And I'm drawn to that one for some reason, so that's what we'll use. I'm just going to use fingers. I'm really glad these have uh, that inner lid too. These are the chalk paste by a Prima company. Now the trick, oh, I didn't do very good there. Oh, well, nobody said I was a perfect, perfect stenciler. Or whatever this is.
This one's lid wasn't screwed down just all that tight. thinking that's scary didn't show up real good, but we know it's there, don't we? Well, now that was smart. Some of these stencils are rather fragile. See, that's what I get for not slowing down. Baby wipe works great. Look, I got a side print. Yep, it's all good. Because I am about done here. Let's get our feather back out. Whoops. Nice marks. I think I've got it. I brought my other book out to show you guys and got all sideways. I've got two of them done. We'll just do a quick for anybody that's left. Lid on the mess stuff. Started this in May of 18. 
So in a year and a half, I've finished two of them. That's pretty cool. What do you do with all the popcorn? Anyway, this was where I started these things. Look how tiny I was. Still looks good, though. It was a bright day. Drop papers here. Oh, I had a look at this. That's goddess writing in a brassy in a type color. It's cool. Here's a piece of this. Got some bad color coordination going on there. There's another one. That's I'm not sure if that was ooh hoo or not. Could have just been sloppy gluing. This was always a favorite of mine. I carved this out of a lino print, out of one of those linoleum blocks. Leno printing. That's cool. I may need to go back to that real small. Just kind of fits right in. Here's another one I carved out of the plumber's gasket. This one's pretty. This I like this page too. I remember it. This is that paper I used just uh, Tuesday with the the spin thing. A wrapper from a watercolor pan. I really do like that little stuff. So I don't think those go together that much, but it's there. That's the purpose of it. This is a pretty one. I like this too. That's some crusty bits there. Drink pool. Gosh, it's fun to look back. Must have been a depressed day, but at least I put some pink on it. Rolls of paper with embossing on it uh, that I bought at Hobby Lobby 10 years ago. They had them on closeout for a dollar a roll, and I bought them all. And they were only about, I don't know, 10 or 15, so I've got plenty. There's some of uh, Rosemary's Echo Dying that we did. And this is an inkjet print uh, on, uh, and I knew that wasn't going to stick down when I did it, so. On um, kind of paper, waxy, maybe parchment. This has been a real fun process, and it's really good to have a finish on two entire books.
This is green gold, I think. That's never been a real favorite color. But it's because, too, I haven't used it that much. The round jelly plate leaves questions in my brain. I like this spread. And that one. Okay, Gail, see ya. I'm just about three minutes from shutting down. That's an interesting print. One thing about it, you can never recreate it. Nice plain little piece. Oh, you know what? I think I meant for that to flap. <laughs> oh well. I'm not in browns, but that one's kind of cool. This is uh, for harder seeing Asian people. I like this print. That's the one I did in uh, the girl I did in the Saus. And there's an empty page. How about that? That's a wild. Homemade tape. There you go, one page left. <coughs> Ta da! Three books. And that's not quite dry yet. Okay. Happy New Year! I didn't tear that off. I need you. Just makes me so happy when I've worked. Y'all have just been there putting up with my being quiet. And... and there you have it, sports fans. This. This is kind of cool. Too bad I didn't do it sooner. I would have had a little more of a print, but that's okay. All righty. Today's. Thanks. I wonder if this book will get as flat as this one. Now, what Robin does is she takes these, takes the, bind, the hardback off, and attaches them to a book that would flip together. So this would be like 18 months of journaling in one, in one big book, like a soft leather cover that you would just wrap around. And so I plan to do that. All right. Love you guys. And I'm glad you came. I always appreciate having company. And now I'm going to go finish my studying, I'm working on some web page stuff. Because this is the year that my class is going to really take off. And I know not in, not in current markets so much, but people who really want to learn how to paint. So I've done the work. Now all I have to do is put it all together with the marketing, which is my least favorite thing to do. So, now Vicki goes to work. All right. Shutting her down now. See ya. Love you guys. Love you guys, lurkers. <laughs>